What's up guys, Siobhan here, back with another video. Today we're just going to talk about the iPhone 8. It's basically my review, my full review on this phone. If you're here for amazing B-roll, close-up shots, this is not the video for you guys. <laughs> because this video, we're going to break down the iPhone 8. And we're going to give a real, real honest review and my true opinion on this phone. I've been using it for the past couple weeks, guys. Over two weeks now. And I have, oh, come on, note. I have my real thoughts and my real opinions on this device. All right, so let's take it easy. First, we're just gonna talk. We're not gonna talk about the iPhone 10. It's we're, we're gonna try to make this video without talking about the iPhone 10, guys, because it's not relevant. We don't need to talk about it. We're talking about the iPhone 8. And what the iPhone 8 has to offer us. Now, there's also an iPhone 8 Plus which I'm using to record this video at 4K, 24 frames per second. It's a direct successor to this phone. It's basically the big brother, and it's it's it would be a phone that I would recommend instead of the 8 because you'll get better camera functionality, a better battery life, and overall a better phone. But is the iPhone 8 also a good phone? We'll find out. In this review, I'm gonna really go hard at this iPhone 8 and just let you guys know. So basically, this iPhone 8 is, it's it looks familiar, right? If, if I didn't tell you guys it was the iPhone 8, you would know. Now, I know a lot of reviewers and everything spoke about the design already, but we just have to talk about it, guys. It's 2017, I have a 6 Plus right here, and if I, if I showed this 8 to my mom and the 6 Plus and said, hey, what's the difference? Which one is better? Which one is newer? I'm 100% sure she wouldn't tell me. She would think they're the same phones with just like a different color or a case on it or something like that. So the design choice is very familiar between four to five years, the same design. Now the iPhone 8 measures like the same as the seven, if you guys remember, 138.4 by 67.3 and 7.3 millimeters thick, which is fractionally larger than the seven, but it should still fit in all the same cases if you guys were wondering. Now, that really puts the iPhone 8 in a league of its own. And there's no Android flagship with such a compact screen. The size makes it a pleasure to hold. It's really nice to hold if you like really small phones. And I I, I just love the, the, um, the form factor. But I would really like to see these bezels go. The chain and the forehead is just too, too big for me in 2017. Um, I've been using the Note right here for the past couple of days as well. I just got it not too long ago. I'm trying to storm up a review. I already did a camera comparison. I'm editing that video now, the Note 8 versus the 7 Plus. And let's just take a look at this, guys. Like, look at, I mean, it's really hard. It's really harsh to compare the Note 8 and the iPhone 8. But the screen size, it's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the chins and the foreheads. Couldn't Apple have done a better job with the chin and the foreheads in 2017? I know they're preparing for a certain phone that we won't talk about. But come on, Apple, you can't just give us a... Like, it's like they didn't want us to buy this phone. And real hardcore Apple fans decided that, okay, they still buy it. But as I said before... You might not need the bezel-less display, which the certain phone that's coming soon will have, or the Galaxy S8 or the Note 8. It might it makes like it might make this phone feel a little bit outdated and really weird to hold when you've went to like a Galaxy phone. So it's just something that I'm I'm not really I've I've been spoiled. I'm not really used to it anymore, and I really think that Apple need to change up the design of their simple phones because they basically they have a phone that will be smashing this one every year every year so maybe next year you will have a, another iphone 9 that has the same design which is just really stupid in my opinion so 
as I've already mentioned, guys, the iPhone 8 design isn't it isn't a massive departure from the 6 and the 7, but it's not necessarily a bad thing because it it keeps the um its personality, yeah. It keeps its personality and its character. That's the exact word that I was looking for. Now the aluminum unibody design has been replaced by a glass back, so no more no more metal, it's now glass. And that was been done for wireless charging. Now Apple went with Qi standard wireless charging. So basically you could get, for example, a wireless charger. I have one right here from Aki. And basically if you put your phone down, it will start charging as you can see right there. This You have to be in the center for some of them. I'm not sure why it's not working, honestly. Yeah, I think it's working now. But the Galaxy, like the Note and all of that, has been doing this for years with wireless charging, as you could see. But yeah, it's just something to note if you're new to the phone scene and you were wondering what the glass back is all about. That was the main purpose. Also, it has, it, it provides more grip. Some people say it's a fingerprint magnet. I don't really find too much fingerprints on it, to be honest. My hands are greasy now, so you'll find fingerprints. But like if I just got out of the shower, I'm going to school and I have this phone on me. I hardly find any greases. Let me wipe it down real quick for a dramatic effect. This is how it looks without all those fingerprints. So yeah, it's a really good looking phone in my opinion. Some people say it looks like a jet black, but to me it doesn't. It has its own color, and Apple keep changing the name from the change in the space gray look. But yeah, let's talk about the back. Yeah, so it's covered in all glass. The lens still protrudes, as you can see, and also the flash is beneath this this glass so it's basically protected right there it's also still water resistant it has stereo speakers that are no loader so you have speakers up here speakers at the bottom it's a clear improvement over the previous iphones but it basically just lacks bass no pun intended if you want to listen proper music you'll definitely need a bluetooth speaker or something like that. So as I said before, it's still water resistant with the same IP67 rating. That means it should survive in one meter of water up to 30 minutes, but people has put it to the test and it really did a great job. Shout out to everything Apple Pro for letting everyone know that. And finally on design, Apple has changed the colors so you could get them in gold, silver, or space gray but the colors really look different rose gold silver and space gray you have to see them in person i have the rose gold recording this video right now so i can't show you that unfortunately but if you look online you'll find tons of video or you could even dive into the apple store to see one of the major improvements with the iphone 8 though guys was the true tone screen or true tone display so it features a 4.7 inch display which is just the same as last year with a horrible resolution 750p by 1334 IPS LCD display. It has a pixel density of 326 ppi, the same number of pixels in the iPhone 7 and the three year old iPhone 6, which is right here, which is just really disappointing and it just sucks that Apple still offers the same screen. Three years ago, we're, we're having the same screen and we have to pay more money. It just doesn't make any sense. Look at the note. All right, let me, let me not go there. Let me not go there. Sorry, guys. We're just talking about the iPhone 8. So let's talk about the iPhone 8. Sorry, we're not supposed to compare the Note 8 to the iPhone 8. We're not even supposed to have them in the same sentence. It's just a crime. But if you hold the Note 8 <laughs> beside the iPhone, guys, and look at... Let, let me unlock this thing. If you just hold them side by side and just look at the quality when it comes on to the screen, it's... Congratulations. Shut up. If you look at the quality of the screen, it's just embarrassing. Just look at the sharpness. And this camera may be not doing it justice, but the Note 8, blow, the Note 8 screen blows the iPhone out the waters, guys. Truly, in my opinion. 
Now, basically what Apple is focused on improving with the screen, instead of improving the quality of the screen, they improved the brightness and the color presentation and also the functionality. They didn't really make this new thing. It's called True Tone Display. And basically what it does is that it adjusts to the color temperature. So if you're in a cold room, all, that's all you need to do. Just toggle it on and it will take effect. It will take over. If you're in a colder room, it has warm, um, cooler colors. But if you get into like a darker room, it, it, it wants to play easier on the eyes so it'll show warm tones which is really good if you're in the dark and you're reading when you go outside it would be very bright so it shows blue colors that works hand in hand so yeah it's a really cool feature that works in the background you won't really see it a lot but yeah it's good true tone technology it was in the ipads a long time so as i said before it just monitors the ambient light around and basically just helps you to see better i guess so yeah it results in like bold colors beautiful contrast without looking over process like some of the phones that try to do this like the note 8 it looks really bad on the note 8 now the specs in this thing might just blow the note 8 out the waters i might do a geek bench let me just go ahead and download geek bench while we're here guys because I'm really sure that this iPhone is good when it comes on to specs and the whole speed of this thing. So let me just do that. Look at this, guys. With a Note 8, I could just say, Hi, Bixby. Open the Play Store and download Geekbench. Tell me your voice password to continue. Open up for a real one. I didn't recognize that. Alright, that was a fail. I think we have to do it manually. I'm really sick right now, so I might sound weird. This is actually Siobhan, if you guys were wondering, but I'm really sick because of the cold. As I said before, guys, this is just like me talking to you. I'm not cutting it. I'm not... You know, I'm not really into the fancy shots. I wanted to give you guys a real review of this phone and my whole experience, you know. So I wanted to test out the speed right here with the gate bench. So it's already up and running on my iPhone 8. Let's just wait for the Note 8. So I'm just going to run a CPU benchmark. It might take some time, but we'll we'll leave it in the background while we still talk about this phone. So I think the Note 8 just downloading Geekbench 4. Is it working though? Yes. Run CPU benchmark. So meanwhile, those are running in the background, guys. We could still talk about these devices. Now, the iPhone 8 comes packing Apple's new and speedy A11 Bionic hexa core chip that means it has six cores i don't want to sound like a nerd but yeah it's basically a six core processor it's the most powerful processor that apple has ever put into an iphone which is really really good now day-to-day -day use it's difficult to notice the performance that this thing could handle so basically you need to like do stuff that has ar in order to see the real performance and the battery improvements and all of that. So tearing through the different apps, playing music, watching video, checking emails, they're all uninterpreted by the hardware as is usual for new phones. But what is super impressive is how instantly apps are ready when multitasking between numerous apps. But that's something iPhones always been known for. It's just it's not just like the iPhone 8 alone could do this. Now, when it comes on to the Note 8 and Galaxies, they sometimes really suffer with multitasking, keeping apps where you left it. Sometimes it has to refresh and all of that. But with the iPhone 8 and the iPhones, it does a really job when doing heavy tasks, keeping stuff where you left them. And where the adding processing power would really become apparent is when we're running more intensive apps, as I said before, which uses the AR kit, for example. So hopefully 
it'll also stay a lot quick for a very long time because we really expect this phone to last around two years apple also simplified the storage options if you guys were wondering it comes in the base model 64 gig and you can also go up all the way to 264 gig now apple claimed that the iphone 8 battery life was comparable to the iphone 7 but i said before it performed really really well with the iphone 8 plus surprisingly it was always two percent behind the 8 plus as i said before i did a video on the iphone 8 versus the 8 plus versus the note 8 battery test if you want to see that i'll leave it down below in the description for you guys and yeah we also got two new ways to charge the phone as i said before we have wireless inductive charging and we also have fast charging now as you can see guys the single score that we got right here 4203 and the multi score of 10172 that is it's just crazy that's just crazy numbers chilling right there we're gonna wait for the note 8 while we keep talking about this phone as i said before yeah we have quick charging and we also have chi charging which means it has wireless charging that's basically all the new stuff you get with this phone it's nothing that works an upgrade if you already have an iphone 7 but if you had a 5s a se or a 6 plus this would really be a good upgrade for you if you don't want to spend all the money on the iphone 10 but if you want to live with the competitors if you want to live in the future you'll definitely need a bezel-less phone like the note 8 and iphone 10 i'm not going to talk about that phone a lot <clears throat> sorry sorry for that every time i say iphone 10 i get sick anyways guys the camera no onto the camera no this is where the phone gets interesting on paper, the iPhone 8's camera looks unchanged from the 7. You get the 12 megapixel lens setup as you did with the previous generation, but this year the sensor is larger and the software is also very smarter. So you'll get sharper images, definitely. I'll have some on, on screen right now. Quick um, look back, we're just gonna check the Note 8 versus the iPhone 8. The iPhone 8 demolishes the Note 8 right here, guys. Get, get this shit out of here, man. It's just not compared to the iphone 8's processor but yeah i just wanted to show you guys that this phone is really fast coming in and out of apps you won't have a problem it leaves up where you left them it won't reload any app everything is working very great but as i said before we're talking about the camera the the results you get with this camera is a big improvement now with the camera it's capable of taking some stunning shots with great detail and contrast as you can see on the screen right now it's still not quite reliable as maybe the google pixel i went into google and played with the google pixel guys is so sharp i'll have a picture posted right now with the google pixel and the iphone 8 and you can see the difference it's 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 there it shows so the iphone 8 samples that i have on the screen right now you can see it looks really good um i wish i had an iphone 7 to test it i only had a 7 plus so that would be unfair but it's still a shame you can't get apple's dual camera on the smaller phones that's why i said i would really opt for the iphone 7 plus because it just constantly makes me feel like i'm missing out on portrait mode which the iphone 7 and 8 plus offers now this camera, camera still has an excellent front facing camera which is 7 megapixels as the 4k video at 60 frames per second now to conclude everything the iphone 8 is a really good phone it's an excellent smartphone the battery life is decent i have proof you could check that out down below in the description the camera is improved and the addition of wireless charging is cool and all but I like the glass back it looks really nice it's a good design the small screen I'm not a fan the phone is really good to hold it's the most ergonomic you could you could wrap this phone around you won't lose it it will always be in your hand there's just one problem that I have with this phone and is that it just lacks features it lacks the dual camera it lacks a larger battery and it's basically in the past the screen is not sharp enough and it's just not really a phone that 
you'd want to call a flagship. It's more like a Motorola, <laughs> to be honest. It's more like these budget phones that you'll buy for your little brother and say, hey, this is your new phone. They would be hyped about it, but I mean, you're a grown man. You, you don't want to have an iPhone 8. You don't want to spend your money on an iPhone 8 as a grown man. First thing first, it's it's expensive. And I don't see what you're paying for. It costs maybe around the same as the Note 8. Maybe a little cheaper. $200 cheaper. The Note 8, you're getting an S Pen. You're getting crazy features. You're getting a better screen, better battery. You're getting sharper images. With the iPhone 8, you're getting the same design as a 3-year-old phone. You're getting... Wireless charging, the Note 8 has that, over, the Galaxy lineup has that for years now. What is he getting? You're getting no headphone jack. You're getting no SD card expansion. It's just not a phone that you're supposed to want in 2017, especially when the 10 is around the corner. I hardly spoke about that phone, which is really good. As The iPhone 8 is basically overshadowed by the more exciting, more expensive brother which is one the 8 plus and two the iphone 10 now if you're looking for the latest and the greatest guys the the best iphone that's gonna be released is coming up in two to three weeks and it's called the iphone 10 as i said before i don't want to talk about it too much this is the star of the show all right guys so my battery just died and i was using my my headphone it's just like this is my mic that I was using and guess what it was plugged into my charging port it's supposed to be a headphone jack right but we have no headphone jack on the iPhones so I had to put this into my charging port to record audio and it died so now I'm basically recording off of the phone that's just really annoying but anyways guys it's 4 37 a.m I have school, I have class at 8 a.m. I think I need to wrap things up here. Speaking about the 8 and the iPhone X are basically the stars of the show. Get yourself a Note 8. Test out the future. Try it. I've done it. I've loved it. I cannot use it as my daily driver though because iMessage and FaceTime is what's... Like, all my friends use iMessage and FaceTime. So that's one of the main reasons I'm sticking to iPhone and also the speed and processing power are one of the main reasons i'm sticking with iphone but i just think apple should have just really given us what we wanted and that would have been trying to keep the home button while reducing bezels apple basically said hold my beer and they just took everything off i don't know what they're thinking man but hopefully the 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 10 plus will be better i'm not sure but yes guys yeah, if you like the video, <laughs> drop a like down below. Follow me on Twitter at it's underscore Chevy. I'm almost at 2k followers, guys. Go ahead and, and follow me right now. I'm at 1999. Pause the video, go and follow me on Twitter real quick. So, yes, guys, if you enjoy my review, let me know what you think down below. As I said before, this is just like a, a real review video. No bullshit, no cutting, no editing like that. It was just really... A straightforward video so i hope you enjoyed it and always guys love peace and tweaks signing out Bef before i go guys i just want to let you know that i said this phone is boring when i said boring i mean it's the same boring design as last year you can't really do anything with the phone you're locked down if you didn't know this was a jailbreak channel first of course as a new jailbreak comes out i'll be touching on that jailbreak as soon as possible but there are just plenty of boring phones out there that cost under 200 dollars and some awesome boring phones costing 500 600 dollars but the problem is that if you're an iphone user and you're looking for the latest apple smartphone you probably won't look at this thing you probably look at the 7 plus I mean the 8 plus that I'm recording with right now or the iPhone 10 and yeah this is just a phone that I said you just give your cousin and say hey 
hey man look at your phone and he'll go about his business he'll be happy but if you want to invest your money into a good phone that offers all the latest features 2017 phones is supposed to have this phone doesn't portray all those features so yeah that's it guys as i said before follow me on twitter real quick and always love peace and tweaks signing out